in the zone, but we're going to talk some basketball right now. Robinson tonight honored their best hoots player ever. Myers Leonard was back in his hometown tonight as Robinson retired his number 32 basketball jersey before the Maroons football game. The seven footer helped Robinson win the 2010 2A Illinois State Championship. He then went on to the University of Illinois for two years before being taken 11th overall in the 2012 NBA draft by the Trailblazers. Leonard has spent his entire six year NBA career in Portland, but he says having his jersey retired at Robinson is special to him because that's where it all started. Extremely blessed and honored um, to have my jersey retired by my high school. It's, um, it's a very special feeling. It really is. Um, growing up in this community, you know, so many people looked after me, cared about me, and have continued to follow you know, not only our state championship run, but then I went to Illinois and they followed me there. And now, of course, I just finished my sixth year with the Trailblazers, and yet they continue to follow me. The Maroons were looking to pick up their first win of the season with Myers Leonard in attendance. Robinson entertained Flora. Opening kickoff trickery from the Maroons as Landon Rory takes the reverse out to the 40 for the four being taken down, like when the coaches go to their bag of tricks. Second quarter and Flora knocking on the door. Quentin Smith down the field finds Cole Young in the corner of the end zone. Wolves take a 6-0 lead. Robinson looking to answer on the ground as Tyler Beard Busts this 23-yard run down the sideline in the Florida Territory. Robinson gets their first win of the season, 24-12 over Florida. Casey. Well, we had a pretty good border battle tonight as South Vermillion and Marshall meet for the first time ever on the gridiron. Marshall fans were excited as the 2-1 Wildcats go on the road to face the 3-0 Lions. We go to the second quarter. Marshall driving. Jacob Schaffner rolls out. Hits Jake Tharp for the completion. That's a first down for the Lions. It's just getting this drive started later. Schaffner fakes the handoff and he keeps it himself around the end for the touchdown. That would give Marshall an 8-7 advantage. We go to the fourth quarter. The score is the same. South Vermillion needing to put points on the board here, but they fumble the snap and Marshall is all over. The Lions recover and they stay unbeaten in a close ball game tonight. Marshall takes down South V in their first ever meeting. Final score, eight to seven. Meanwhile, KZ Westfield looking for its first win of the season as the Warriors visit Jason Fulton and the Newton Eagles. We go to the third quarter. Connor Bierman takes the handoff. This kid is a workhorse. He takes four Warriors with him across the line for the first down. And the Eagles are driving the next play. They give it to Aaron Buttery, and he takes a big Buttery. chunk of yards. Yeah, Buttery. I like it. Yeah. Well, he takes a big chunk of yards. He likes the red <laughs> zone. And that's when they give it right back to Bierman. The kid just pushes his He's way. He's a man child. In. That's yeah. a big boy. That's <laughs> yeah. a country boy. And he runs like it. He, <laughs> he could not be brought down in this game. Newton puts it away on that drive, and the Eagles would take care of business. The Warriors drop another one tonight, 21-7 to Newton. It's time now for our Sports 10 Spirit Award for another week. Marshall fans, hey, they're enjoying the rain over there, aren't they? I love the, they were dressed for it in the. Uh... They were. I don't know, the next one up, Newton, they're always excited to see Sports 10. They love us down there. We try to, it's a long trip, but hey, we get down there, they're cheering for us. And then, of course, I showed it earlier, the Terre Haute South fans here. We saw the Terre Haute North fans. The football is what makes it special, but man, the fans make the atmosphere in that game. Yes, the atmosphere in a high school showdown like that at County Robbery. Fun to see. Let's take a look at the smashes. You saw it there. Terre Haute South, Javine Crowley, and Cameron Rivera with a big pop on kickoff coverage. And then <laughs> this is a fun one. Matt Berkeley, he hits our Sports 10 cameras. Yes, uh, Richard, our Richard? photographer, took a tumble I've been there, there before. I feel for you, man. Uh huh. Yep. Doesn't feel good, but uh, <laughs> hey, he was all right. And he got us it's back. his first week to shoot for us. I hope he comes back. <laughs> he did a great job. Our subway play of the night: Sullivan wide receiver Kyle Vernelson. Awesome diving catch. Mm -hmm. You saw this. Yeah, to see him extend and pull in this football. They weren't able to score a touchdown here, but uh, yeah, when you make a catch like that, yeah, you're still going to get on TV. That, that's on the highlight reel. <laughs> the Sports 10 Top 5 Fantasy Stars of the Night. No surprise that the guy number one there. Right, Northview quarterback Trey Shaw. We just continue to see him dominate all season. 244 passing yards, five touchdowns for him. North Central's Dawson Basinger, 182 rushing yards, two TDs, also a fumble return for a touchdown. We showed Connor Bierman, 117 rushing and two touchdowns. Monster game. Sullivan, Jake Skinner, 
119 rushing, two touchdowns, 31 receiving, and a touchdown and an interception. And Jace Dressler, 158 rushing and a TD on a night when it was absolutely horrible outside. South could just hand the ball off to him, and he was a monster all night out of the backfield. Congratulations.